uh, I'll start off with the suggested topics and I'll go to the actual topics. So the suggested topic is, you see how um, I have like, I have like a little hiccup or something. They said, talk, talk about my bodily fluids or I would say functions, but they said bodily fluids. They also said, I didn't want any foster children in this apartment. And I've said that to you guys before. Uh, if they're invading my privacy, using these devices for surveillance and causing me to be sick and even anyone in this apartment sick, I'll let that just stand on its own. I don't want foster kids anyway, but most of all, I wouldn't want them in this apartment. So they said, we need the exact date when you first realized we were doing this to you. That's exactly what they said to me. That goes to show they're upset. I finally got them upset. So they said, I always start sentences a certain way. So they said, now that they know how I structure my sentences, they can predict what I'll say and finish my sentences. Doesn't that sound like what I've been telling you they're doing? So that's my point. Now that you've heard the suggested topics and I've told you this, you can see what their motive was. Their motive was to pretend that they were doing this all the time and they need the exact date when I figured out what they were doing, but also to make some money off of me, to make me paranoid. They said the truth about this program is that it's not what I'm thinking, it's what they're telling me. Of course, I mean, they can't read minds. So what, to, to just tell you what that means is, they're the ones saying, telling me things supposedly in my ears, but if it's out loud, it's so other people hear it. So whoever decided to come up with this program thought that it would be a good idea to suggest things. So one of their main suggestions seems to revolve around children. And once they realize I don't want children in my life or in my apartment, it defeated that. So then they came up with another idea and another idea. But you notice how all their ideas seem to be about me. I'm wondering why don't they have ideas about themselves? Why do they need other people to follow up on their ideas as opposed to, I don't know, them doing it themselves? It just seems to me like it's something bigger. So they're really upset that I'm online, I'm talking about my life, I'm talking about things that I've done and I've achieved, which is different from them talking about things they're suggesting. Do you see the difference? It's called achievement versus suggestions. If you're not achieving something on your own and you need me, it goes back to what I've said originally. This seems to be a group of people that need other people to follow through on their suggestions. And I'm trying to tell you folks, it's weird. Besides being wrong and illegal, it's weird. Why would you need other people to follow through on your suggestions? Why can't you just achieve those things on your own if they're great ideas? Because they aren't great ideas. The other big thing that you know, I'm talking about their suggestions and I'm trying to give you guys an idea of what they are and who these people are. They are obsessed with the idea of controlling my body. So they said, you see, we made you cough earlier. We're controlling you. We're talking about these things and you can't shut us up or you can't shut this off. We're controlling you. So that's part of what I'm saying. This is a a group that's obsessed with control, taking over my life, lying about things. And once they see that it made me sick, they don't stop. They keep doing it. So I created this um, with some yarn, just cheap yarn from the dollar store. They're going to shut me off because they don't want me to show you this. And it took me a long time to figure out how to do it. But I, what I did was I wrapped and knotted and wrapped and knotted. And I was afraid that it was going to fall out because as you can see, like this is the back and this is the front. As you can see, I hand painted with clear nail polish a stone. And if you guys know what kind of stone this is, please drop a comment. I don't know exactly what kind of stone it is, but it you can see through it. So when you... Um, 
put a flashlight behind it, it lights up. And um, I wanted to wrap it and I was trying to, I was trying to come up with an easy wrapping technique so that I could then do a video on it. And since I have rocks and stones for sale on Bargain Buster Bin on eBay, I figured like you guys could get some stones, wrap it, and then you have a piece of jewelry. So let me just pull this down a little so you can see how that looks. You see? So this was a, a necklace oh, that just broke. That's another part of this. Um, they said they're going to heat up my uh, metal for my jewelry and make it break. And just now in real time, it just broke. But that's my whole point to you. Does that sound like a group of people who are helping? People who know that I'm trying to start a jewelry business and are capable of breaking things so that instead of me being able to sell the damaging stuff, that doesn't sound like a group that's trying to help me. So when they said they wanted to bring foster kids into the apartment, they said that would make it easier for them to accuse me of doing the wrong thing. I don't want kids in the apartment. I don't want kids at all. And that's part of what I'm telling you. If I didn't tell you what they're suggesting, it would be harder for me to prove it. But because I've been telling you these things all along, they keep coming up with shifting narratives to come up with a new thing. Then if that doesn't work, they come up with another thing. And if that doesn't work, they come up with another thing. So right there in real time, you saw this break. Because what they said they do with the metal is they heat it and it causes things to break. And I showed you in a video where I showed you about the rings, how they swell your hands. And then when they, the hand swelling goes down, it forces the rings off the finger and it goes down the drain. That's my point to you. They've come up with a lot of scams and schemes that I would never have thought of. And when I told you about these things in a previous video where I called, I said, you know, I have knowledge of things that I wouldn't have knowledge of. I'm not in that world where I would have knowledge of these things. Yet the things that I have knowledge of, you're seeing reports in the news about it. I told you guys about AI and cloning personalities and and various things about the health effects of being targeted with these devices. And you're seeing it in the news. How would I have known that if, if not being told? So that's part of what I'm telling you. You know, they wanted me to circulate um, articles about certain things, but I choose not to. I choose not to do what they tell me to do, because I think that was also, I'm trying to cross my legs. I think that was also part of their plan. Again, to have control and have people do the work that they're not doing. So part of their way of control would be to have me doing things and always oh, suggested you do that. But that goes back to what I'm saying, that that's part of what they're trying to create. They're trying to create an army of people who do things they want them to do. And I don't want to be part of that. The last point I want to make is they're upset because I support Palestine and the Palestinian people. And they felt it was just because I used to have a coworker who was Palestinian. It's not just because of that. I support anyone who is vulnerable and who I feel, and it's not based, you know, I'm not, you know, they would want me to, to, to prove every little thing. I don't have to prove every little thing. I feel this. And if I feel something, I'm going with it. I felt this way about a lot of social injustices, human rights violations, including the one I'm going through. That if the Palestinian people have the right, the human right to dignity, respect, and to live in freedom, that is a right that no one under any circumstances can take away from them. Same as me. I feel like I have a right to humanity, dignity, respect. And if that offends anyone, that says more about that person than me. So that offends them. The last point I want to make is that they are still thinking that they can control me using love and religion. And as you notice in my videos, I'm talking less about love and religion and more about the people doing this to me, because I think that gives you more information. So their psyop on me is that I would be susceptible to love religion. They also said to praise. I have absolutely no history of being susceptible to praise. In fact, as a native New Yorker girl from the Bronx, 
I'm the opposite. I tend to be leery of people who praise me because that usually is the type of person who is who wants something. So in a you know a few days ago they mentioned and I'm trying to give a little bit of a break between when they talk about something and when I tell you guys about it because I hope that there is some justice for people like me and that that will make sure that we catch the people doing this. They talked about a fellow girl from the Bronx and they lied on me and they said that they were coming up with ways to kind of make turn people against me and so they tried to put together a conversation that I had with a fellow girl from the Bronx and they tried to twist it and make it sound like I was anti this group or that group but you notice how when I'm talking about not only the Palestinian people but myself it's possible to have an opinion about being pro something without necessarily being anti something else. So I'm able to say, listen, the people targeting me are these people and I know who they are. They know who they are. And by now you folks know who they are. And it's possible for me to be pro my rights, my freedom, my ability to speak and feel freely and not be anti those people. But it's also possible for me to say, listen, when my life is at stake, my freedom's at stake, and everything I value is at stake, I have no time to worry about the people who are attacking me and their feelings. I must go on the attack. And that's my point. They thought I would feel sort of self-conscious about it or I wouldn't be open about it. That was their mistake. So clearly their PSYOP was wrong. They also said they're going to try to bring back some men from my past into my life to sort of get those relationships going. It will not work. They also felt that, you know, they could badger me. That's what they said. Their words, not mine. Badger me into feeling something about religion. I've said this and they know I've said this. This is something I've told them outright. So I'm telling them directly, when you worry about when I found out, I found out very early on who you are. And I've always said, I answer to a high authority. That's from a commercial. And that I think scares them because it's the idea that you're not going to use money, love, religion against me. I answer to something bigger than that. And I think in my answering to something bigger than that, it helped me. I wasn't as susceptible to all of these things as they expected me to be. So they said, we're controlling all of your bodily movements, all your functions. So they're saying that they can control when I urinate, when I ovulate, when I cough, when I feel aches and pains. What kind of people would want to do that to another human being? Tell me. What kind of person would want to control another person's bodily functions? I'm going to title my video. What kind of person would want to control another person's bodily functions? That tells you everything you need to know about who these folks are. Thank you for watching.